Support for Scottish independence soars in new poll. Here's a summary of the article. Scottish support for independence has reached the highest level ever recorded, according to a new Ipsos Mori poll. During the Scottish independence referendum in 2014, just over 44% of voters supported independence. There's been a swing but it's been gradually coming. By the end of last year, three years into Brexit, the numbers were 50 to 50. And we saw from this June, the numbers go from 53, to 54, to 55% for independence, worrying London and causing a stir in the British media. I think both the pandemic and Brexit are very important, but you already had 44% which in a nutshell was for self-determination. We've seen since the Brexit vote, some Remain voters who were against independence now support it and want it within the European Union, which is the Scottish government's policy. So maybe in the next five years, there'll be another independence vote. It's tricky, with Boris Johnson saying no but with elections in May in Scotland and an SNP landlside expected, thing are hotting up. This post received a score of 27,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Thumbnail is terrifying. It looks like a mannequin outside a tourist souvenir shop LMAO edit. I said it looks like one because it is. That somehow gets closer to you every time you look back at it. They're all up the royal mile. It's a little spooky to be honest. Listening to a lot of people who used to be no. They're just sick of the constant circus show that is Westminster these past few years. Also, grown-ass men telling Nicola to shut up doesn't go down well with women here, regardless of their political views. I don't understand why so many male politicians don't seem to realize how terrible that looks. It's the same here in the US. In these times especially, acting as if women are beneath you and have no right to even speak just makes you look like a sexist ass. Greater than I don't understand why so many male politicians don't seem to realize how terrible that looks. It's the same here in the US. Age likely has something to do with it. Many people are just stuck in whatever environment they grew up in and unable to adjust to expectations prevalent in modern times. Politicians are one of the professions where narcissists and sociopaths are attracted to due to power, prestige and influence. This in turn leads to a lot of politicians acting and thinking that they are better than everyone around them, which in turn tends to feed off of and into all sorts of prejudice and discriminatory behavior. On independence, would there be a monarchy set up or a republic? What the future plans your Bonnie Scots? The most popular plan is to join the Commonwealth like Canada. We would still have the Queen but have an independent parliament. New Zealand seems like the perfect model for us. Legislative, executive and judiciary. So yes, like Canada. I think he meant NZ's parliamentary model with MMP voting system, which I'm pretty sure is different from Canada's. I sure wish we had MMP. Scotland has a fantastic opportunity to avoid FPTP. The Scottish Parliament is already elected via MMP, though it's called AMS, additional member system, here. Thanks. This is about a million times more helpful than something like, so yes, like Canada. Has there been any sort of investigation into how it would actually work? Like financially, NHS military, trade etc. Oh yes definitely, but the problem is hearing those investigations from unbiased sources depending on who you listen to Scottish independence is either the best thing or worst thing ever we either become a successful independent country or destroy ourselves. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.